The Atlantean Alphabet The Atlantean Alphabet was a simple set of five symbols that comprised all that was known by our pre-diluvial ancestors the entire world over. But this universal language, based on silent telepathic communications, was lost soon after the flood, according to the religious myths, at the time of the confusion of the tongues. Did these ideograms originally appear within the imaginations of our most ancient predecessors because of modern-day ESP testing using these symbols? Could the tests have sunk deep enough into our modern component particles to reverse influence our ancient ancestors into higher self-awareness? Such speculation is worth dwelling on. The dot within a circle. The circle is black on white. The dot inside the circle is white on white. Thus, the circle is omnipresent, but the dot is occult. The dot is the singularity, or the ajna, the mind's eye. The circle then reflects the boundary of space, an infinite loop with an omnipresent origin. In this way, the dot is the line seen head-on, while the circle is the line in extension from the origin. The circle is the first human ideogram. Variations include concentric rings, representing the moon phases and planetary orbits, spirals, representing comets and galaxies, and labyrinthine motifs, representing complex civilization, when combined with the variegation of the cross. The circle represents one, while the dot represents zero. One was known to all who were educated to this ideogram. However, the concept of none was reserved for only the medicine men and the chiefs to grasp. This remains an essential staggering in the natural curve of our average evolution as a species to this day. The cosmic monad, or circumpunct, was reflected early on in religious imagery in literature as the smoking plant, the bush that burned but was not consumed, which represented the tree of life, or the herb that had given us sentience. Thus, the most important meaning of the cosmonad is the pupil lens of the eye. The fly flot swastika was the first symbol of the stem below the flower. It shows the mathematical process of addition even now, and forms the letter T at the start of the word two. The plus cross is a more direct design, hinting at the origin point of the plane space than even the plane circle, marking it at an oblique X as the crossroads. The cross represents the knowledge of solar precession, with the sun at the center of local space and the galaxy at the core of the local universe. The circle with the cross inside it is a symbol of Earth, and it is often called Malkuth, the Hebrew word for kingdom. The circle on its own, particularly the circumpunct is a symbol of the sun, and when the sun is at the center of the cross, it is a symbol of solar precession, which can only be measured over periods of thousands of years, thus necessitating high science and high civilizations to preserve it. When the cross is depicted alone, it is a symbol of the galaxy, particularly when in the standard spiral of a yin-yang, a triskali, or a swastika. In this event, whether the arms and legs of the fly flot reflect either a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation, 
indicates the hemisphere of the planet the galaxy is being viewed from. From above, the Milky Way galaxy follows a clockwise spiral. From the southern hemisphere, it will appear to be a counterclockwise spiral. The three rivers reflect the level of human development at which the flood occurred. We are told by the high levels of civilization that flourished following the flood of Mesopotamia in 6000 BC that the gods, the chiefs and shamans, had a much greater level of knowledge than the ordinary people at the time of the flood. According to different stories of the flood, this knowledge was lost when the gods died in the flood. The gods abandoned us and have left us their wisdom concealed in history. The gods are still alive and present now, teaching their ancient wisdom from a safely disincarnate distance. The three rivers also represent the fertile crescent between the Indus and Nile River, with the twin rivers of the Tigris and Euphrates in the middle between them. We are told by ancient artifacts from the last cave people era prior to the earliest super-civilizations that the pregnant moon goddess reigned as the predominant religious icon. 